guys, what is going on? Room Rocker here, bringing you guys my second Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay commentary. Today we are going to be playing Domination, as always, on the map Hunted. I am rocking that ICR using quick, uh, not quick draw, stock, foregrip, and long barrel. Today I would like to talk about the best uh, guns and setups with those guns that you can use in Black Ops 3. If you guys would like, I can show you my custom classes. Just let me know uh, within the next couple of days in the comment section below because I do plan on prestiging pretty soon. I'm at like level 43 right now. So let me know before then and I can uh, give you guys the setups that I like and mind you this is coming from the first 43 levels that I've played and these are my personal opinions and these guns require a certain play style so yeah just take note of that I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, sick five man with the tempest the only guy left on their team killed me at the very end which was a shame but anyway let's get into today's commentary I have a few notes written down just so I don't uh, screw anything up so we're going to start from, I'm doing a top three, so we're going to start from the third best and go down to the very best. So I think that the third best gun in this game is the CUDA SMG. Now this is the only SMG on the list. Uh, personally, I'm not really a fan of any of the SMGs in this game. I really don't think that the VMP is that great. And uh, from what I've heard, it's just, you know... None of the other ones are worth it. I heard that the Razorback got a big nerf, and that used to be the best gun in the game, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this is a very submachine gun strong game. Anyway, the CUDA is a very high damage and hard hitting gun. And this is that's what you're going to look want to look for in this game. I know, at least on my end, I've been having a lot of connection issues in this game. And when you are using that high damage uh, submachine gun or assault rifle, it definitely helps with the connection because uh, not as many bullets uh, have to land and you can still do a great deal of damage to your enemy. Uh, that being said, the recoil on the CUDA is a bit higher, which is which balances out balances it out. And that makes sense. And really, it's not that great from long ranges. So I would only recommend using this gun on like a Nuketown or a Combine map. Uh, in fact, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to have a video with the CUDA on Combine coming out. So you guys can uh, see a bit of what I'm talking about. And with this gun, you want to play a traditional submachine gun rushing uh, play style. You know, go into the enemy spawns and do all that good stuff. So all that being said, I recommend using the foregrip on this gun, and that uh, makes up for the recoil a lot. The quick draw handle, uh, you know, just so you can get your gun up faster and start aiming quicker. That really does give you a big advantage in the gun fights. And then fast mags or extended mags, that is up to you. Uh, I, I run uh, both, like either or. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend any optics because you shouldn't be looking to get into any long range gunfights with this. So uh, yeah, let's move on to what I think is the second best gun in the game. And that would be the Gorgon or the Gorgon or however you say it. I still don't know how to say that. Uh, say the name of that weapon. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think. And uh, probably if you guys put anything down there, I'll take what the majority of you say. But uh, as you saw in my last video, this is the highest damage weapon in the game other than some of the sniper rifles. But I don't really count those. And really, uh, the recoil is not that bad. However, the fire rate is awful. Uh, I was watching a video from Driftor about this weapon. And he said that the fire rate is around 400 RPM. Which is about the speed of a semi-auto sniper rifle. Now, mind you, this isn't semi-auto. This is a full-auto light machine gun. So, uh, yeah. It just shoots very slow. I hope you guys uh, get what I'm saying. And with this gun, you're going to want to post up and play defensively. Find a good piece of cover and get uh, the enemies to funnel towards you. And that is definitely how you will find success with this gun. As with all light machine guns, the reload time is just awful. Absolutely awful. And uh, really, I wouldn't even bother with fast hands or anything. Because if you get uh, caught 
in a situation where you have to reload, you're probably going to die unless uh, the enemies stay off you for quite a bit. So I wouldn't bother uh, running fast mags. Extended mags might be worth it, but uh, I don't think that that is the way to go with this gun. I definitely think that grip is needed because how it is uh, low recoil, but with this gun you're going to be getting in long uh gunfights and weapon engagements so you definitely want to gonna want to keep that recoil down i also think that the grip helps with the uh the view kick a little i found that when i use the grip my view kick is not a, as bad maybe i'm just nuts maybe I, I don't know that's just what i think the grip does and it actually works in this game gonna want to run the quick draw handle the ads on that gun is absolutely atrocious it takes like three seconds to aim down sights so definitely gonna want to use that quick draw to help you and uh, you really shouldn't be aiming down sights very often but if there is a situation where you get caught having to aim down sights quickly uh you know you should be good and by uh, not having to aim down sights very often I mean you shouldn't be up in their face to the point where you have to like uh, come from the hip to uh, ADS you should probably be in ADS the entire time with this gun but that's just my opinion and then definitely 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 you're going to want to use rapid fire and as I said, the fire rate on this gun is around a semi-auto sniper rifle, according to what Driftor said. Uh, that's not me saying that, that's him. Don't uh, shoot the messenger or get angry at me for saying that. But rapid fire will definitely improve the performance of your weapon, especially this one, because it'll let you do more damage and shoot out more bullets quicker and, yeah, kind of self-explanatory. And now, what I think the best gun in the game is, is the ICR. That's the one I am running right now. This gun is a laser beam. It, uh, you know, it has about average damage and average handling and average stats, except for the accuracy. This thing, when you shoot it, does not, sorry, does not move whatsoever it is a laser beam and when I say laser beam I don't mean like EM1 from Black Ops from Advantage Warfare because that actually had recoil this thing just shoots straight uh, so and you can do whatever you want with this gun you can post up in camp you can get up and rush in their face I don't recommend hip firing with the gun I found the hip fire in this game really is not that great just a, a side note there but this gun is a very 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 versatile weapon I've heard people say that it reminds them of the ACR from MW2 I'd even go as far to say as that cheese I'd even go as far to say that it reminds me of the ACR from MW3 uh, the damage is probably a bit lower but it just had no recoil whatsoever and it is a very 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 strong weapon so all that taken into account I like to run the setup with stock which helps me uh, aim down sight faster I like strafing around a lot no, not aim down sight faster move faster while aiming down sights I like to strafe around the map a lot you know pre aim the corners and stock definitely helps with that Although it's not as strong as it has been in games past, I definitely do think that it is still a very, very useful attachment. I'd recommend using it. Grip, it makes the laser beam e into even more of a laser beam. Uh, you, like, you can start taking people out from across the map. I feel very, very confident getting into long-range engagements with this gun. And as I said earlier, I also think that it helps the view kick once again maybe I'm just crazy but that is what I think and then this one will probably surprise a lot of you and it's long barrel I find that the guns in this game uh, really don't pack that much of a punch other than the, uh, weapons like the Gorgon where it's 55 damage per shot but I think that most of the guns in this game are pretty low damage compared to uh, other games and long barrel will extend the range and therefore let you do more damage over a range 
and I definitely think that that is something that you want to have. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a friendly comment down below. If you hated the video, please leave a dislike and feel free to cuss me out in the comments. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. That is where you get will get the uh, quickest updates about my channel and uh, live streams and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Look out for another Black Ops 3 video uh, tomorrow or on Thursday. And, yeah, I'm out, guys. Peace.